I struggle a little with the notion of indefinite, right? Because all wartime preventive detention theoretically is indefinite. You capture the enemy, you don't know when the war is gonna end, right? And, and the psychological toll of that is profound. I mean, you think about our POWs from Vietnam, just year after year after year, they have no idea. They're there until the conflict ends. So do I support it? I think the difference is, what we've done is we've taken a principle from, a, from kind of traditional wars, and we've grafted it onto this untraditional war. So here's where I come out on this. I think the principle in theory is valid, right? If we have a good system of, of a, determining that you are a member of this belligerent group, we can preventively detain you. I think we have to modify these principles a little. For example, I think we have to adopt something or we could adopt something that, like we do for classified information. We classify it initially and then there's an automatic sunset provision. So we would say, pick a date, 10 years, right? 10 years is about as long as an American has been detained as a prisoner of war. So at the 10 year mark, the authority to detain is presumptively gone. Mm. And then you impose a very heavy burden on the government mm. to go into a mm. Article Three court and justify, mm. so you shift the burden. Right? Method, giving these guys lawyers, creating a presumptive termination date for the authority to detain. I think those are adjustments to the general principle that are necessary. Because I don't think the general principle anticipated this range of application.